Ladies and gentlemen, how's she going? Once again, I'm Ned from the Aztec Bits. Today I want to have a look at this uh, Montoy infrared sensor helicopter so it looks like it just senses the palm of your hand and goes up and down it's gonna be good and bad at the same time because uh, you don't want to be too too close to something with the spinning blades because they could smack you in the eye or uh, get you get your hair tangled in one of these things but she's just the price just the fact that i could get this at a dollar store i'm pretty sure montoy sells exclusively to dollar m and that's a canadian dollar store and just the idea you get this for four bucks man the price of this stuff is come down significantly i mean how are you going to fly this thing if anyone has ever used one of these things before they know you got to get a trim set on this thing you got to bring it up in the air a bit and then you got to trim it so that it'll stay in the right place but this thing doesn't have remote control meaning it doesn't have a trim so let's get into it and see what it looks like man i probably have helicopter parts for this already chilling around elsewhere very interesting very small little usb connector and here we have the unit okay so we've all had helicopters like this before in the past or seen them with this kind of look okay we got the infrared there a little led but the infrared how am i going to control that i wonder yeah let's take the front shield off and take a look at what we got on the inside yeah, so we basically got like a weight, we got an LED, we got a CPU in the middle there. What else we got? Got a small battery. Yeah, everything looks pretty standard. Looks pretty standard. So let's get this thing plugged in, charged up, and uh, we'll get her going. Power switch on the bottom. This unit seems to be able to sense how far below something is and if you put your hand or something below it'll fly up it looks like it'll come right back down uh let's do a test flight and see what i break yeah let's take us outside and see how it goes almost made it out the door and i realized there's no uh blades back here no stabilization blades i mean this thing's probably going to spin in circle a lot all right, guys, ready to rock. The wind is going that way, so expect that thing to be going that way, too. Let's turn her on and see where she goes. That definitely did not go the direction that I thought it would. Huh. Okay. <laughs> so interestingly enough, I can't make it just go and try and see exactly how high it can make it. It's something and it changes, something and it triggers. And then it comes back down. So that's about the height you're gonna get generally just about up to your waist. Get too much further in the ditch. So for four bucks, this thing is an awful lot of fun and I definitely recommend it for any kids who are enthusiastic about uh, helicopters. I definitely would not recommend it for anybody who's under the age of four because, uh, man, those blades can smack you in the face pretty quick. That's for sure. And anyone who's dealt with uh, remote control cars knows exactly what I'm talking about. These little demons, man, they can smack you up pretty nicely. But a lot of fun. I definitely recommend you check it out. It's definitely worth the four bucks. And, uh, yeah, kids will have a lot of fun with this. Anyways, catch you later, folks. Like and subscribe if you like the stuff. Always appreciate it. Take care of each other.